okay, I get it. You want a defender. You're trying to decide between D90, D110, D130, D110 double cab, D110 three door, D110. But what about trying to decide between a D90 and a D90? So we have D90 lifted and D90 not lifted. Understand that these vehicles are the completely the same size, but they sure don't look it. One being black, one being white, this one's lifted, this one's not lifted. So now the dilemma you have to deal with is to lift or not to lift. And if you were to ask me, I think you know which direction I would go. And maybe it's just the inner redneck in me, I don't know. Um, but I don't think it's redneck, I just think it looks awesome. I think, and I'm not taking it away that it's not lifted doesn't look awesome. I mean, how can a Defender not look awesome? They just look awesome, period. So it comes down to personal preference of which one speaks to you more, which one do you like more, but then it also comes down to how are you going to use it? If you're gonna be on the highway and doing a lot of highway driving, basically like a daily driver, I would kind of steer you towards this, this direction here. No lift, because anytime you lift it, you get the, I guess that added appeal of visual that you may or may not like, but this here is going to be easier to drive. And while it's not substantial a difference in easier to drive or not, it's a noticeable difference. And this one's going to be easier to drive. I mean, just starting with the tires, this is a mud tire that's 35 inches, uh, 35 inch, well, it's a 315.75 on a 16 with a 12 and a half inch wheel. This one being a 275 or 265, I believe is what I have here. A 265, it's also a 16, but it's a, it's a smaller tire. So just the unslung weight. In other words, there's more weight over here than there is here. So as that's rolling down the road, you will feel a difference in that unslung weight, being that you're gonna feel this more versus this. So question is which one which one speaks to you which one do you like better and then there's also the whole dilemma between colors too if it wasn't enough to decide which body style and whether you lift it or not but santorini black which has a, a metallic in it santorini has a nice metallic beluga black is uh, one of the blackest blacks you can go with but you know a lot of times people say oh i really like black cars and uh, in fact, talking to Mike, the guy shooting the camera right now, he says, I generally prefer a black car, but I think I prefer the white now. So here's the question, white or black? This is an Arctic white, meaning that it has a blue undertone, but it looks white, white in the sun when there's no snow, and then the metallic black, both beautiful in their own way, both Helderberg, so you know they're all custom built. But I think this goes to show that it's one of one and it's built specifically to what you need, specifically to how you like it. And I know Deramid's gonna love this one as it's gonna head off to Massachusetts. And John's going to love this one as it stays in New York, but they look completely different. So you have to decide and I ask you right now, which one would you prefer? If I was saying, hey, I'm gonna give you one, which one do you want? So is it the white one? or is it the black one? Which one's your favorite? I'm excited to see. And be sure and check us out on YouTube where we have over, well over 100 videos and we're constantly adding more videos. And if you don't follow us on social media, well, find us, we're definitely on social media. And definitely sign up for our newsletter because we send out uh, stuff in our newsletter that we don't share anywhere else.